K-10's Bailey Vaughn is live at Munson Stadium this morning. Bailey, with 126 years of history, there's a lot of stories to be told. Good morning, Caroline. You are exactly right. There are so many stories to be told with a rivalry that has lasted 126 years. Whether you're a player on the field or a coach on the sidelines or just a fan in the stadium, when you're at this game, you're part of that history. There's one man in Denison who's done all three. And although he's seen Bodas come and go year after year, he says his family has waited 33 years for kickoff tonight. 1991, Charlie scores his only touchdown in the Battle of the Axe. Even though I'm 51 years old, I still see things at Munson Stadium through my face mask. Then Coach Means watched 21 battles from the sideline. In 2024, his son Easton will take the field as his dad watches him don the same number 38 he was wearing when he caught that pass 33 years ago. He set a front row seat, you know, since he was a a little kid, he grew up at the field house and did the, you know, he was the tee boy and the ball boy and did all that stuff, so he's seen, seen it all. It's, it's his time. Try to live up to his legacy and uh, represent Denison proudly. From the shoulder pads to the headset, Coach Means found himself back under the Friday night lights, this time leading the next generation of Yellow Jackets. One thing about Coach Means is we came, we kind of came up through the high school together. And he was actually that, that constant that stayed with me all the way through, somebody I can talk to. He knew my emotions. He knew what I was going through. He took those same qualities that made him a great coach into his next big leadership role, dad. It really teaches you how the game's meant to be played and uh, really what it's all about. Easton was crawling on the sidelines, watching his dad scheme up new plays for the Yellow Jackets before he ever took his first steps. Great experience. Couldn't ask for anything better. I loved every minute of it. One of the players who looked to Coach Means for guidance in his teenage years, now coaching his coach's son. Anytime I have any issues, I can go, go to him. And he knew when things were going wrong and he needed to come calm me down a little bit. So it was always a good thing. After 21 battles of the axe and 15 wins, Coach Means decided it was time to see the game from a different perspective, freeing up more of his time to fulfill the greatest job title of his life. Just like to see him play and compete. I'm just dad, you know. I just get to sit and watch and I try not to, to be too coachy with him, but you know, it's kind of, it happens. Tonight, a new number 38 will get his chance to pin his chapter in a rivalry that shaped his father's life. Preparing for months and months throughout this summer, so uh, tension's building up and we're ready to play Friday. Charlie will still see the game through that face mask, but this time it's Easton's. Such an honor to tell this story, y'all. My daddy was a football coach growing up, so I can tell you it's just a different life. Your dad is your hero because you see all these big football players and pads looking to him for guidance. And your entire childhood, your biggest dream is when you finally get the chance to suit up with those school letters across your chest because you are ready. That is a very special moment when you are a coach's kid. And tonight, Easton will get his chance right here at Munson Stadium. It's not about the wins and losses or the etches on that ax. It's about carrying the legacy, continuing the fight, and paving the way for all those ball boys just waiting to get their shot. In Denison, I'm Bailey Vaughn. Send it back to you, Caroline.